Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigvalk and welcome back to our video. So for the first fight, we're gonna play a Justa PPI. We're gonna have Dark Metal cards here on her. The Dark Metal card is gonna have already some nice bonuses here. A lot of lethal damage. And also we have a lot of lethal damage from the uh, class passive. And we're gonna use uh, Zatanna with the uh, Puppet over here. To buff my EPI up, and we're gonna use uh, Harley with Trigon Staff. Harley's here to give me the uh, bonus versus stun targets. Again, both Harley and EPI are good. I'm not exactly sure which one of them is better, but at the same time, it shouldn't really matter because they're gonna one shot the crap out of things. I might actually test this out. Maybe, maybe tomorrow we use this exact same team and see which one of the characters seems to do more damage. But yeah, the purpose of this fight is to activate Puppet on uh, Zatanna. And get EPA to do a lot of damage. While buffing her with Zatanna Puppet. Oh boy, that's a fast transition into a block there. Though I'm getting very lucky with the free specials here. Okay, that's infinite power. That was extremely lucky. I mean, not as far as the infinite power goes, because I have a level 10 puppet, so that was a guarantee to happen, pretty much. Or, like, as far as the how many free specials I got from Zatanna. As well, super with API. Oh, boy. We didn't even start her. Like, chill. Chill, stop doing that much damage. Let's get her to the corner, so that we also get some... The Dark Metal cards beneath us. And I expect one tag and it's all that's gonna take. Bro, I think we got to the point where the, the damage against stun targets barely increases my damage. No, I think it does a fair bit. Does not lose infinite power. Yeah, we lost it. Okay, yeah, it's irrelevant at this point. We, we deal so much damage. She is blinded. Please keep being blinded for a little bit. I promise this can be over soon. There we go. Yeah, this was a little bit of an overkill. Just, just a little bit of an overkill. Oh yeah, and uh, I want to address something. In previous videos where I just test random stuff out. People were like, why aren't you using Zatanna with those teams? Or why aren't you using Raven with those teams? Because that's... I'm, I'm trying to test out something at the same time for entertainment purposes, but something that might be, could be viable as a budget team. And if you're doing a budget team, you can't really give it Raven or Zatanna because you're very likely to need those characters for other teams. So that's why I'm not really throwing Zatanna to Multiverse Black Lightning because I'm going to need her somewhere else and she's most likely going to be better used somewhere else. But yeah, let's move on. Okay, let's try to play this as good as I can. So we got um, Black Adam with puppets. Hawkman with... Um, the chakra at level 9 and peacemaker with uh, the uh, dragon staff at level 10. So some mistakes I did in the past was not fully stacking the uh, super move of Shazam because it needs in order to get the full effect at least at 3 stars which is as far as my, my rule of conduct black item is. It needs to get 50 combo before using it. Get the full efficiency out of that. And also, I should, in order to benefit from a lot of uh, what Peacemaker does, use only specials. Even though I have Puppet, I should not be spamming specials. I should be using specials with combo meter that's um, like above 15. But at the same time, at that point, why am I um, really using Puppet with this? Hmm. You know what? Let's try Dark Metal cards again. Because, honestly, I actually feel like what I personally got best out of this team was Dark Metal cards, Black Adam. I saw a video from Night Fury with a very high amount of damage from Puppets, and I could have played my attempt with that better, and maybe we're going to do that. But let's go back to the basics, because I feel like this is the artifact I got the best feeling about when it came to this team. 
but we're gonna do a little bit more of a focus on having the proper combo to do things, fully stacking things. Let me also double check the super moves and see if we need to do each one of them. This is worthless, it doesn't buff the whole um, Just Like Dark theme. Peacemaker. And Peacemaker. Yeah, Armor Pierce Chance. Would be great if that Armor Pierce Chance also translated to abilities. Because abilities do have Armor Pierce, but they only get Armor Pierce from the... Um, Black Adam passive over here, which is the one that requires you to have high enough combo. Also, do I have any armor pierce on the talents of this man? Yes, I do. Yes, I do have some. It's common ones, but... Yeah, let's... Do I have lethal chance also on this man? Because we get some lethal... Yeah, we do have some lethal chance. Yeah, I think we're, we're ready here. Though... Actually, actually, let's put sort of salvation here. It's gonna give me some power generation. They only get a bit fewer stats than if I had the level 10 Trigon Staff and the level 9 Chakra. I think that's kind of worth it, especially since we're not going to rely on Puppet gameplay, I guess. But yeah, let's get this going and let's try to play this as, as absolutely best as I can. And yeah, I have to have Hawkman in there. Honestly, Hawkman is not doing much for me, but... Uh, him being there is gonna allow Peacemaker to generate peace stacks a bit faster because he generates them depending on how many flawed justice teammates are there. So if that didn't exist, Hawkman would not be in this team, but uh, that kind of exists. This man's super move, we can do it whenever, it doesn't depend on combo or anything. Okay, full efficiency on this. That third special. That's special again. Again, we're gonna have to stay here for absolute ages to fully get that. Peace shield stacked. By the way, we most likely will not even get to fully stack the special damage buff until the end of the fight. I'm not even 100% sure I armor pierce on these specials, to be honest. Maybe it's just something that's in my head. Doesn't really say armor pierce on those, but it doesn't say on my basic hits either. Because it says crits, which I guess is the more important thing. But yeah, this, this still sucks. This really sucks. Like... Maybe I'm gonna try pop it again. Maybe maybe that did a little bit better. But nah. I mean, this is kind of the most reliable thing I can currently do for this team. And look, I believe that 
if I had a seven star Peacemaker with maxed out passives, the a seven star Hawkman and seven star Black Adam, this would have a pretty good chance to one shot with maxed out passive stats. But that is not really helping much, okay? That information is not really helping me out with much. Okay, something I actually did not test out since the last update came out. Does permanent damage uh, Scorpion uh, still work? Permanent dot damage? Because there's a thing you can do. You put Nora Snow, or you could do. We'll see if you can still do it. You put Nora Snow Globe into uh, on this man, and then you get the clone summoned. Then that clone needs to do a third special on the enemy, but it needs to be a full hit third special. The enemy can't jump out of it so as soon as you do it. You can't miss it. Just a full frontal hit third special on the enemy. And after you've done that, Raiden should have permanent dot damage for the remaining of the fight without you having to tag Scorpion in even once. So I guess uh, we're gonna try that out and see how it goes. Wanted to, make, wanted to make sure that the clone will have enough uh, energy when tagged in to do a third special. We're gonna let this man get killed. He's not taking much damage, but as soon as she starts using specials, this should uh, get sped up a lot. Yeah, there we go, that's decent. She also power drains me a bit, but it's okay, I should have enough power by the clone gets by the time the clone gets tagged in. Let's block a bit, because I don't want to die too fast. Ah, this is gonna be tricky. Okay. That worked. I was afraid that the clone will get hit on Tagging. Oh! Where's my dot damage? Let's try again. Let's try again. Get another clone in there and let's try again. Maybe something went wrong here, because people had trouble triggering this even before the update sometimes. Maybe the cloak doesn't need to die. Yeah, it works. It still works. It still works. It might be tricky to trigger, so keep that in mind, but it still works. I have no idea, honestly, why the first clone didn't succeed in triggering this. And they had people in the comments saying that it doesn't work for them even before the update, but it still works. But there was something wrong I did with the first clone, and I honestly have no idea what, but it eventually works. Because the first clone didn't trigger it, and because it took uh, the boss a bit long to kill that first clone. It took us quite long to get to this point. So not the, optimal, the most optimal outcome. But it still works, and you're gonna get situations where this goes better. And it's not like a huge deal. It's gonna be a bit more damage, I would say. Using this team like this versus the usual gameplay that you have with God Killer on Scorpion. is gonna be like, let's say, 30% damage increase. Or maybe a bit higher than that. It's still not gonna do 2 billion damage, most likely, for you. Unless you have 2 passive stat artifacts, which you can't unless you're in specific soul rates. But it's definitely gonna be, generally speaking, a bit better. And you also, if you can combo interrupt... Yeah, that's another thing. If you can't combo interrupt, then play normally, because there you don't have to combo interrupt. But if you can combo interrupt, this actually doesn't annoy you that much, because the enemy can't randomly jump here. But yeah, I'm glad to announce, ladies and gentlemen, that this still works, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye!